Hi everyone, welcome to the Lisa Bug Fitness and Yoga Fitness Assessment Series. What I have for you is the push-up test. And this test is not a timed test. It's a maximum assessment. So it's as many push-ups as you can do at the rate of 50 beats per minute, five, zero. So what you'll need for this assessment is a metronome or you can get a metronome app for your smartphone. So just go to um, the Google Store or the Apple Store and search for metronome. You'll be able to find a free app and you can set a pace of 50 beats per minute to be able to listen to that and to time your assessment. So once you have that, then you're going to determine what is the way that you are going to do a push-up. So if you're a person who's um, got some shoulder issues, an injury, a surgery, maybe you're new to weight training, you might want to take a wall push-up. So when you do a wall push-up, you'll come up to a wall, place your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders distance apart, and take your hands a little lower than your shoulders on the wall. So you want to have your elbows pointing down, not out to the side, so relax your elbows. Walk your feet back behind you, and I'd like for you to make a note of how far back you are on the wall so that you can duplicate this assessment exactly the same way in six months when we redo this test. So this is the first way you are going to do your wall push-up. So you need to have a standard of the same width between your hands, the same distance of your feet to the wall. It's so obviously the closer your feet are to the wall, the easier the push-up is. So if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, the next option is to use a chair and come down to your knees. So we'll bring our knees and then our arms out in front of us about shoulders distance apart or a little bit wider. And again, make sure your elbows slightly drop down, not out to the side, and you'll do your push-up here. Now the thing about the push-up is you don't have to go very deep. So what I want you to imagine when you're doing the push-up is that there's a wall behind your back. And when you're doing the push-up, your elbows come and hit the wall and then they go back out. Come and hit the wall and back out. So I can do that actually here. So I'm going to bring my elbows to where I touch and then back out. What we don't necessarily want to do is bend our elbows so deep that our chest touches the floor. Not for this assessment. That could be um, could cause maybe some strain or injury in your shoulders. So you have the wall push-up, you have the chair push-up. Next option is to come down to your hands and knees in the kneeling plank. So you want to walk your knees back behind you so you have a nice straight line here in your push-up. Take your hands a little wider than shoulders distance. Make sure your elbows point slightly toward your feet as you bend your elbows, coming down and coming up. And then your last option, of course, is from your toes, that full military push-up, coming down and coming up. So where does the metronome come into play? That is the pace that we need to go to do this push-up assessment. So if we start to slow down um, more than this uh, metronome beat of 50 beats per minute, the test is over. It also keeps us from going too fast because when we do really fast push-ups, it can create momentum and it's not really a good, true, strength-challenging push-up. So I'm going to bring the metronome over to my speaker here so you can hear what 50 beats per minute sounds like. So each time we hear the beat, we're down, up, down, up. So I'm going to do this assessment just a few repetitions, not until I reach failure, but I'm going to do it from the kneeling position. Remember, it's a max test, as many as you can do. So when you feel like you're slowing down too much or you've hit that fatigue, take that number and then check the notes on the video and I'll have some information on the push-up assessment. 
Now I'm not going to have, let me shut this off now. I'm not going to have a set of norms for the push-up assessment because you are going to do the push-up the way that works best for your body. And there are not norms out there as far as I know for a wall push-up and a chair push-up. I think all we have is the kneeling and the one from the toes. So all I want you to do is write your number down, keep track of it, and then when we repeat our assessments at the end of the summer, you'll be able to see how much you have improved. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you next time, gang. Take care.